this is molded. That's mold. This is not safe. Hey, what is up you guys? Long time no see. It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. How are you doing, Nick? I am doing great. How is everyone else out there? I'm pretty good myself. You're doing you good. didn't ask me, but I'm gonna tell oh, you well. anyway. It I feels was really good. I and everyone else out there. I'm pretty good. Yeah. Other than this back pain, I feel like I've been in bed the past few days. It's That's terrible. Old age. 37 well, is coming girl, up. Girl, it was bro. like I got better. I think I said mm -hmm. in my last video I was doing a lot better than I was, and then I did something, and I ended up being the same way I was before. So I'm a little bit better now. I'm trying to be very cautious of how I move and things like that. So if I look crazy and robotic in this video, that is why. But there are a few things that I want to talk about in this video. You okay. guys know that I've been cooking lately. Mm -hmm. I want to show you guys this waffle maker that Nick bought. And then I want to talk about Ariana Grande and Elvira. Mm -hmm. That has the internet split right now. Yeah. And I'm siding with Elvira. And there's a lot of people upset about that. And then I want to talk about Mr. Beast and Rosanna Pancino because she just exposed him. He's having a really bad year. He is. Is. This lunchly thing is disgusting because Rosanna Pancino is saying or claiming that she found mold in her <laughs> lunchly. So if you so guys want to hear about that, stay tuned mm. to this video. So the first thing that I want to talk about, because you guys know that I've been getting into cooking, you've been getting into cooking, mm -hmm. is this waffle maker. Feels like Nick bought every single ninja appliance known to man. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. So we went through a house fire, as you guys all know. Then we had to leave Texas, as you guys all know as well. <laughs> we left literally everything in fucking Texas. Yep. I had all of my ninja appliances. Like, the kitchen was fully stocked. It was. I'm sure that it still is. Oh, yeah. So I have to replace everything. Yeah. That's how life works. I want to show you guys this waffle maker because I had a lot of fun using this thing. Mm. I've ate waffles. I couldn't tell you how many times in the past week. And I actually made Waffle House waffles in this thing and they turned out really good. I have two cool things that I want to show you in this video. One is this. It's the Ninja Waffle Maker. It has five different settings. You can do cake and everything in this. And I have been addicted to it for the past couple of days. Now the second thing that I want to show you is this. I love Waffle House waffles. So if you get where I'm going with this, I want to make Waffle House at home because I love a good dupe and this actually Actually, isn't even a dupe. I ordered this from the Waffle House. So let's try it. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have made a mess with this thing. It's very easy to do, but once you get it down, you won't make a mess anymore. I've already measured out what I need. It says three-fourths of a cup. Up here it says three-fourths of a cup. So I'm just gonna pour this in and we're gonna see what happens. It's hard to hold this and pour it all in at the same time. This thing's gonna let you know when it's done, that little red light there will turn green and it's gonna give you the ninja sound that you normally get with any of their other products. All right, so it looks like it's browning up pretty nicely. It does smell like a Waffle House waffle so far. Okay, so this light just turned green and went off. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, wow. Okay, so I only did half of one. I should have measured more. It smells so good. Should just lift right out because Nothing sticks. I've got my Kerrygold butter here. Now, if you're a demon like me, of course you have to smother your pancake or your waffle in butter. I did that and I put a ton of syrup on it. Now let's see if this is good. It is a nice light brown color. It's not too much. Let's see. That's really good. Oh my God, I never have to go to the Waffle House again. Is that not? Oh, that is really good. That is the craziest thing. It tastes mm. just like the cream. That's their whole gig. I didn't know that their uh, waffles were apparently like original sweet cream. This is my last bite. This might have been the best waffle I've ever had. Number 10 would recommend the Waffle House waffle mix as well as the Ninja waffle maker. That was a tongue tie. So if you never want to have to leave home again, you might want to check this out. Now, if that wasn't cool enough, I did receive, I think yesterday or today, okay. I had told Nick about this thing from Lodge yep. Cast Iron. It's the Dolly Parton. Yep. Jolene, please don't take my mm -hmm. pan. I posted this on Instagram. Yep. People went crazy. I posted it on my community tab. People went crazy. Yep. And I posted it on Twitter and people went crazy about it. This thing is really cool. But you guys, look at this. Look at how cool this is. It's heavy. I, how much do you think this thing weighs? I don't it's, know. it's straight up cast this iron. This is the eight inch. That's a lethal weapon. This is the eight inch. Wow. You can make some nice cornbread in that. That's enough yeah. for two people. Yeah, I would say so. I want to try to make a cake in it. I actually have like a handle cover too. It's the Dolly Parton like hot pink. I think there's like a little glitter in it as mm -hmm. well. I like it. I've never cooked in cast iron, so I guess <laughs> we shall see. It does not go Only in the dishwasher. Time will tell. Yeah, Do not I know. put that in the dishwasher. I had a Dutch oven one time and 
You destroyed they it. <laughs> they went to hell. Yeah. It was a Chrissy Teigen one, though, so. Uh, oh, I remember that's that. That's probably why. It's probably some cheap-ass quality. Hey, her cups were nice, though. They were nice. The cups were nice. But since everybody liked this when I posted it, I wanted to share it with you guys as well. They have a guitar-shaped one, too, I want to get. Oh, yeah, that thing's it cool. Like I think really it's smaller, small. though, it right? Is. It's, like, a lot smaller. It's for, like, one egg. Okay, so now let's talk about Ariana Grande mm. and Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Now, she's an icon. Yes. I grew up watching Elvira. My family was obsessed with her. She's for sure an icon. I just never... I've never seen it. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen her in anything, actually. Oh, we need to watch that. Well, apparently, Ariana Grande asked Elvira for some tickets to a show, and she did that, and she wanted a picture with Ariana Grande, and she mm. declined. And this has caused quite a bit of division over on Twitter. Well, it was like 21 freaking tickets for like yeah. her friends and family to go to this Elvira show, which of course Elvira obliged because it's Ariana fucking Grande, right? Yeah. So apparently Ariana left before the thing was even over. She never even got to meet Elvira or Elvira didn't get to meet her. Everyone else in the group got to take a lovely photo with her. Yeah, the whole nine. They got the whole work up, the whole meet and greet. Ariana Grande is one of those celebrities that every single time she gets in a little bit of hot water, guess what we're going to hear about? Mental we're going to hear health. about mental health. It's her and Selena Gomez. Yeah. Yeah, they will literally dip their toe into some fucking shit and get into the drama and then... Oh, yeah. Oh, well, guys, I have to leave Instagram for a month. Yeah. Selena Gomez has gone on like fucking eight different like sabbaticals. It's annoying. Over this year. It's like, really annoying. But this is what Elvira Everything Clips over on Twitter said. Ariana Grande asked Elvira's team for 21 free tickets to see Elvira. Individual meet and greets included. Grande herself declined to take a photo with Elvira. So apparently this caused a big rift because Gen X is really defending Elvira. And the people that really know about Elvira are defending her. But the Ariana Grande stands, I want to say that they're really, they're terrible fucking First of all, people. we all knew Awful that Ariana people. Grande wasn't shit when she licked that donut. Yeah, for okay? real. Right. That's when we all like wrote her off as being a good person with what she said after that. Didn't she say that she like hates America or something? Yeah, she Bitch said she still thriving America. here, isn't she? She's doing great. She hadn't left. Doing great with the wall around her house. If you over hate there in it California, so bad. Right? Why are you like, still yeah, here? Right. All the money in the world, you could literally go fucking anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere in the world. Yeah. But this has a lot of people divided because even Trisha Paytas weighed in and mm. said that everybody needs to leave Ariana Grande alone because her mental health and whatever. I don't give a fuck about none no. of that. Because here's my thing. I was arguing with people in the replies to mm. that. They were trying to go through mental gymnastics, trying to rationalize why Ariana Grande didn't have to take a picture with Elvira. One, it would have taken 2.5 mm -hmm. fucking seconds. And two, my PTSD, and I do fucking have it, has never prevented me from a photo opportunity mm -hmm. or being cordial to somebody that did a gracious favor for me. Mm -hmm. like 21 free tickets to see somebody let's say that ariana grande really had to leave because she was having some like mental health episode and she just had to go anxiety was like through the roof totally understand it i get it she had people reach out to elvira's team to get these 21 tickets so her friends and family could go and meet elvira mm -hmm. you wouldn't think to yourself after the fact like this person did something very nice for me maybe since i didn't get to meet them i had to leave early let's reach out let's send like a bouquet of flowers let's send a fucking edible arrangement yes yeah, but she didn't think to do that because she's full of Shit. When somebody does something like that, you should show some kind of gratitude for mm -hmm. it. Like, their time is worth something as well. Yeah. And that's what I was getting into it with people about. Like, if she had the time to put on this show and give these tickets, meet and greets, and take all these pictures and stuff, the least that Ariana fucking Grande could have done would have been to take a picture with her. Something. A tweet, acknowledgement on Instagram, something. I'm just sitting here thinking we should probably order some Dunkin' Donuts. Oh. Like, after I made that comment about the donut thing with Ariana Grande, I'm sitting here thinking... Of Dunkin' Donuts. I'm down. You think they're open? Oh, yeah, girl. It, it's well, it's just now 8.30. 8.30. Let's get this video done, and then we'll get it ordered. Update. Just thought I'd let you guys know that they canceled my donut order, and now we had to order Wawa. Well, here is where Ariana Grande fucked up, in my opinion, yeah. because she went over to Instagram, and she posted this thing that said, I'm so disheartened to see this. I actually don't even remember getting the chance to meet you because I had an anxiety attack, and to my memory, left before the rest of my family. This was around seven years ago, and at that time, I was really not great with being in public crowds or loud spaces. But if I'm misremembering this moment, I sincerely apologize for offending you so. Like, girl you got 21 free tickets to a show with meet and greets included with photos included and you dipped before you could thank the person that actually put on the show and gave you the fucking tickets thank you for being so nice to me and my mom you can even remember she was nice to your mom she told me how lovely you were she might have different feelings about that now but i'll talk to her clearly we all have our days sending love always you'll <laughs> always be our queen of halloween well, wait a minute so because elvira is upset that ariana grande did not like say thank you or did not take a picture with her 
her mom is gonna feel different now about Elvira, who, who she had a good experience who with. Who the fuck Girl. would care? Honestly, I swear to God, these arianators is not mm. is that what they call themselves? Yeah. Like the ba- Bayhive yeah, so. and all that shit. Like Something the arianators, they yeah. are the worst fucking people. They say the most wretched, foul, abhorrent, just, disgusting, vile fucking things you could possibly I just imagine. Think to people. in general. I just think that Stan culture in general is very disgusting. It's you look toxic. at the Swifties, you look at the Barb's. They're not very nice people. They They're say not. Some foul fucking shit. I don't shit. even understand it. For what? These people don't know who you are. Mm-hmm. They don't know you exist. And if they do know you exist, they know you exist for defending them. And that is all. That is mm-hmm. so bizarre and weird to me. Well, let's be honest. Over half of them have a profile picture of the celebrity. So they only know a username. But now I want to know what you guys think about this. I think Ariana Grande is rude. The whole donut situation told me everything I needed to know about her way back in the day. She's weird as fuck anyway. I don't care if people get mad at me for saying I don't like Ariana Grande. Mm -hmm. I just hope that she like goes back to like Ariana Grande that she once was before this whole like wicked press tour thing that she has to do. Because what is that? Uh, Girl, I don't know. I haven't been watching. I think the most iconic thing that Ariana Grande ever did was when she was in Scream Queens. And that's her most memorable moment for me. Yeah. That's all I care about, really. But you guys, let me know what you think about this whole situation down below. I am totally Team Elvira, 100%. So now I guess we need to talk about Rosanna Pancino Mm -hmm. basically exposing Mr. Beast and Lunchly, his brand, his knockoff Lunchable. Now... I can't say that I didn't expect something like this to happen because I feel like Rosanna Pancino has been waiting for her moment and she yeah. finally fucking got it. You know, she finally been, got it, girl. Well, she's had a very good year, Rosanna Pancino, because Mr. Beast is having a fucking horrible one. Yes. Like, he has been getting called out for just literally everything under the sun and now this on top of it with the mold and the cheese. Yeah. I don't understand how they were trying to say that this Lunchable that they came out with was a better version of an actual Lunchable. Well, I... I don't know how anybody could think that that would be true in the first place because consider you it's coming from a fucking so. YouTuber. It had a prime drink in it. I don't think that that's like the top tier of health. Is that's it? actually disgusting. I've never had prime anyway, but I have covered Lunchables and what goes into Lunchables, what's mm. in there. Lead. Lead, 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 PFAS and the trays and all that stuff. If you have not watched that video, you definitely should. I covered a lot. I even talked about how Band-Aids have all that stuff mm. in it, and it's just very alarming to me. I would never eat this Lunchly shit mm. anyway, right? But you know what's like so upsetting about this? Because Lunchables is a shit brand, and this one is disgusting has mold all up in it again even though they're trying to tell people that this is like higher quality than what's already on the fucking market newsflash it's not the pizza lunchables are so good they are they are so good it has to be the lead no it has to be i mean it could be i don't know but it really does they have the best marinara Mm. sauce in those pizza lunchables it's like marinara makes it 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 really does does it we're gonna have to see if there's like a dupe or what brand they use in that sauce to see if we could knock it off because that shit is like Mm. crack but rosanna pancino has been going back and forth with mr beast quite a lot lately Mm. she exposed him for a lot of different things that went on on the set of one of the contests that he did that she participated in Mm. and just never and never died down yeah the beast games but she posted a video the other day comparing lunchables to lunchly and it was (laughs) insane to watch she compared the nutritional content to lunchables and she just dragged them for fill and then to top it all off she found the mold this is molded that's mold this is not safe for those of you who don't know lunchly is a super original product that has never been seen before some of the most brilliant minds of youtube came together to create lunchly who really care about people and their nutrition and their kids came together to make this epic product. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I think I threw up a little bit saying that. None of them are foodies, nor do they give a shit. Wait, so it's just prime and feasibles? So these are supposed to be good for like another two months. This is molded. That's mold. This is not safe. Especially like kids that are so young, they may not know what mold looks like. They might just eat it. I saw a picture circulating about mold, but I didn't know if it was fake or, you know, I just had heard about it. But this is real, you guys. And there's mold. Why is there mold in the lunch lay? Oh my no, god. Let me get, let me get it's actually disgusting. Epic ingredients. This is mold in the cheese, and this is really unhealthy. You should not eat molds. I don't know if this is 
an issue in their recipe development or packaging. I think it's a packaging issue. The sealant here feels really cheap, like whatever is holding this on the top. It is not vacuum tight. Now, I thought Talk about this was man. hyperbole at first. Yeah. I thought she was joking, maybe added some like food coloring mm. or something. It's not. Well, apparently somebody in like Mr. Beast's camp tried to accuse her online somewhere of actually like planting it and like having fake mold. She quickly said on Twitter, like that is not the case. This is a legit thing. And put out a clip where she was showing that there are no cuts in this video. This is me opening your package. And this is the mold that is in this cheese. And it was like full fuzzy mold too. Now, of course the shenanigans did not end with this video. She took to Twitter and started exposing and tweeting to Logan Paul, all these different people calling them out. And I wanted to just read a few of the big ones here because if I were to read all these tweets that she put out about this situation, we would be here for an hour. Had a lot of Mr. Beast fans spread the lie that I was faking moldy lunch vid and would never post a full clip with no cuts. Well, here you go. I'm sure they will not believe this is real, but maybe the dozens of other videos online showing moldy mozzarella cheese and lunch leaves will convince them. Again, please be careful eating these if you have them. Where are you buying these? Are these like available at Walmart? They have I to be available. at Walmart. Why, like why that's where they have the, the pepperonis in these things they mm. look greasy and gross they don't even look yeah. like pepperoni to me well, they say they're of the highest quality ingredients and they're healthier for children okay has anybody out there bought one of these and actually like tried it like was it good would you compare it to like a lunchable you know what i think we should get a microscope and just look <laughs> at it under a microscope like they oh, did girl, the jacqueline I'm hill sure lipsticks fucking beauty christy well <laughs> back to doing her beauty videos even though she said that the beauty community is just not the same oh is she Going away from it yes i've seen so many pop up oh they, like recommend them. rent must be due girl rosanna then went on to say imagine downplaying mr beast ksi and logan paul selling mold to children honestly drama alert is peak comedy these days they somehow have the absolute worst takes on nearly every topic at least i know mr beast most likely knows about the mold now because keemstar crazy how mr beast literally went from like untouchable everyone just like loved him because he was just so nice and so generous to like a complete opposite just one day it completely flipped well that's how it goes on the internet now yeah. i do think that he's probably doing shady shit because mm -hmm. that whole thing with that other person that was on the show that's been kicked off that's been a mess and been brewing up for a long time mm -hmm. that's been following him for a while but people love to hate people but also don't trust those people online that everything is just like so perfect and everything is so yeah. good in their life and all they do is good that's just what they're showing you on I the internet don't trust you. now this is the one that got me rosanna tweeted out and said i like my cheese moldy bruh and this just just looks absolutely disgusting. Can you see that? I know you don't blue have your cheese. Maybe they use blue cheese. It on does. There. It does yeah. look like blue cheese. This looks like Girl. something. It's artesian. I... Oh my it looks God. like dumpster food. This looks like something that somebody would have got out of a dumpster that was thrown out for being like this is awful. past the expiration Kids date. Are, this is for children. I like how the prime drink is sitting right there. So right. Is that is the prime drink? Is that an energy drink? No. I thought those were energy drinks. No, I think they have like a kind of like a water version, like vitamin water. And then she followed that up by saying, please be careful, everyone. This is not safe and not okay, especially for children. Hashtag lunchly, hashtag mold, hashtag moldy lunchly. Now, I don't know how Mr. Beast is going to address this because if she had it, she's claiming other people had it. Well, Logan Paul was trying to say that people were lying. And yeah. He was like, there's no video clips of it. And then she came out and he had to tweet out again and said, I stand corrected. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I have that here. Let me see if it's I in my think. notes. Okay. So that's on the notes on my phone. But he said, I stand corrected. Mm -hmm. He said that he eats this stuff for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't I believe that does. for a second. I, I don't believe that for a second. Yeah, I don't either. Although the pizza Lunchables are so good. They are. They like, really, I feel like if sucks. I was like the inventor They're... of Lunchables, I would have those in my refrigerator all Now, times. I will say, uh, what is that stuff that you got? Goodles? Goodles. He, Goodies. If you Goodles? love Kraft Easy Mac and you want Goodles. something that is a dupe for it that is actually not bad for you, check out Goodles. Mm. I was pleasantly surprised. I, I thought it was Easy Mac. Yeah, no, it's really good. And I think it's made from They've what? Like uh, broccoli or cauliflower or something? It might be like chickpea. I don't know. I don't know, but it's, it, it's good. Know, but it's really good. But I want to know what you guys think about this. I know that there's a lot of different people that watch this channel. Have you tried Lunchly? Will you be trying Lunchly? And if you have children and they watch any of these content creators like Mr. Beast, do you consider buying them Lunchly after this? I know that if I had kids, I certainly would not. I certainly wouldn't. I would buy one to see if I could find the mold. Yeah. That would sound Oh, let's do that. Man. But if you made it this far in this video and you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like it. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And leave me the cheese emoji down below. Mm. I think that's self explanatory we're talking about moldy cheese here i don't think there's a pepperoni one i i, I was gonna say pepperoni i don't what think there be? is though. Like a pepperoni log that'd probably be it looked like a sausage yeah but with that said i hope you guys all have an amazing day and we're gonna get dunkin donuts and we're gonna go order dunkin donuts now bye, bye.